Welcome to Insights. Today we have James Gall with us and we're in um, a month of prayer and today we're going to talk about judicial prayer which is a, a term that probably lots of us don't understand too much about but you have lots of insight into it. But um, just as we were getting ready to start the program we were looking through uh, this book. It's, it's called Intercession. There we go. It's, where's the camera on it? Intercession. And um, inside um, is a uh, um, a contents page just full of all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Um, bridging the separation of clergy and lady, closing the gender gap, that's a good one, repenting from the genocide of the Jews, healing the wound of the First Nations people, deliverance from racism, and cleansing the house of greed and idolatry. Wow. Yeah, these are injustices wow. throughout the generations that we need to repent of or confess the generational sins and then we need to stand not only for the cleansing but we need to call forth God's retribution or repayment and see and here's where a lot of the judicial intercession understanding comes from is from the book of Proverbs where it says when the thief is caught mm -hmm. he has to repay sevenfold. Seven yeah that's it. That's and then it. in the Old Testament if they caught a thief I think it was in Leviticus or something mm -hmm, like that that's right. they had to restore at least double. So, yeah. I mean, bottom line is double. Yeah, let's but, get know, at let's, least double. Yeah, let's get at least double, but hey, let's go for hey, the seven, that's right. sevenfold so, too. So today in your lives, we're going to believe the Lord for at least the double, but let's also exercise faith for a sevenfold return yeah. of all that which the enemy has stolen through suffering and injustices, diseases, and all that whole realm, and let's believe God for restoration. You know, um, we have some personal friends of ours, Ron and yeah. I do, and um, we do have some friends. <laughs> yeah. But, but um, anyways, a number of years ago, they got taken advantage of in a yeah. business deal in a terrible way, and they lost a lot of money, and were left holding the bag on something that they paid on for years after yeah. that. They heard a teaching similar yeah. to what That's we're going to be talking mm -hmm. about today on judicial intercession, and they went before the court of heaven with this thing right. because they'd already forgiven the person. That's right. But they asked for justice That's on right. all that the enemy had stolen from them. Because That's the Bible right. says a thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But it. Jesus came that we'd have life and have it in abundance. And so they went and appealed to the court of justice in heaven. That is the Supreme That's Court. It. That's right. And um, within 24 hours, breakthroughs started to happen. Awesome. Within 24 hours, because something shifted in the heavenlies. Now, you've got a lot of this uh, teaching, a full teaching on this, because yeah. we don't have time to do a full teaching, but this is on judicial intercession, and it's a CD, a yeah. single CD, and it says identifying and, cap and capturing, capturing a thief. thief. That's right. So that's right. what we're about to do today. That's right. Before you can capture the thief, you got to identify who your thief is, isn't Excuse me. <laughs> it just says Patricia. You know, this is going to be one <laughs> incredible <laughs> time today, okay? I mean, and, and God's just going to come in and He's just going to make whatever the enemy, the hindrances and all that stuff, and they're just going to get turned on the devil's head because this is about justice coming. Amen. And so watch out, powers of darkness. Right. Here comes the light. We're going after these things, right? That's right. You know, you know, um, I just feel miracles are in the air today. That's miracles great. are in the air. Expect one. Expect one. Now, I want you to hang on every word here. Test it against the Word of God. That's right. But hang on it. Let it, let it get inside. Build faith. Let it explode, explode through you because there is going to be restitution. There's going to be justice as served to many of you who are watching this program. Miracles probably within 24 hours for some of you. Okay. Give us as much as you can in the time that we have. Okay. Talk about this judicial intercession. In one of the earlier shows we were talking about in the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, and how we come before the God, the judge of all. So judicial intercession is having a courtroom hearing. Jesus Christ is our advocate with yep. the Father. He takes us arm by arm and he presents us before the Father, the judge of all. Now there's an outrageous verse out of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 26 where it says put me in remembrance this is the King James Version let us plead together declare thou that thou mayest be justified now if you don't understand the King James Version hold on I'll give it to you in another form in the New American Standard Isaiah 43 verse 26 it says put me in remembrance and I love this let us argue our case together I love that. state your cause that you may be proved right yeah I love it get this God wants you to be on the winning side 
I love that. Isn't that Put hot? me in remembrance. Let us argue our, our case, case together. together. I love that. State your cause that you may be proved, proved right. right. Oh, my. See, Jesus is for us. Yeah. The Father, the judge, is for us. Now, we've got to meet the conditions. And if we have sinned, if we have fallen short, or if we have failed, whatever, hey, admit it. You know, yeah. cough it up. Just be honest. And get cleansed in the blood of Jesus. And then you come with your advocate. That's what the book of 1 John, one of the ways it talks about Jesus. And there it says, a propitiation for the sins of all the world. Well, in other words, that means for all sin, all time, all people, mm -hmm. all places. Okay? That's you and me. And so Jesus then walks us arm in arm. He's now our lawyer. He's our defense. Yeah. And we get presented before the Father. Now, Isaiah 43 says here, now present your case mm -hmm. before me that I can render in your favor. So this is like something official. Absolutely. You know? so I think a lot of times when we go into prayer, we just kind of like say these things off the top of the head. Yeah. And I mean, I know I do that at no, times yeah. myself. I but um, there's times like when, when I get focused yeah. and I write down the petitions That's, or I think go. it through, pray it through, ask Holy Spirit to show me That's exactly right. how to pray. Those times of prayer are, are so significant because you've got the counsel That's of right. heaven behind you. There is like a counsel room in heaven, isn't there? It's like yeah, and that's what part of this is about because now we go before the judge of all. Well, there's witnesses also in, in heaven's courtroom. And those can be the angels, those can be the justified spirits, or those have been made perfect. Again, like Romans, uh, excuse me, Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22 to 24 talks about. And so in that passage, it's first it describes God's dwelling place. And then second, those who dwell there with God. And then third, the presentation of God himself. It says he's the judge of all, to Jesus the mediator, and we're brought before the blood which speaks. Wow. The blood of Jesus That's speaks. That's the covenant. Get this. Not only did the blood of Jesus speak at the cross, but there in some way in heaven, in that courtroom, there is some of the blood of the Messiah Jesus that is there in heaven. Wow. And that blood speaks today. The blood of Abel, Cain and Abel, spoke vengeance. Guess what the blood of Jesus speaks? Forgiveness and mercy. And, mercy, and, yeah. mercy, mercy. Why? Yeah. Because James chapter 4, I think it's verse 13, says, Mercy triumphs over judgment. Over judgment. Mm -hmm. So here we got it. We're presented with Jesus before our Father. Now, what are we going to present? Our, our case. case. <laughs> so what is the case? What's the case? And that's the deal. You have that's to know what deal. your case is. That's it. And you got to know your rights. You got to know the authority. And you have to be able to present it. Now, if you're going to go to a literal courtroom, you're not just going to show up kind of, you know, half cocked and not prepared. You're prepared when you go to court. If you want to win. Yeah. That's right. If you want to win, yeah. you got to go in with a winner mindset. Mm -hmm. You got to go in that we're going to get so much. We're not only going to get, we're going to win, mm -hmm. but we're going to win big. That's right. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this like kind that. of prayer is win big prayer, okay? <laughs> All right. And, and this is about recovering. Mm hmm retribution and so in judicial intercession when the judge renders in the natural a judge does two things he renders who's who, who who's right and who's mm -hmm. wrong he gives a judgment mm -hmm. and then he doesn't stop there he also then is the second part and he gives a penalty to the one who inflicted right. the pain. Right. Well, that's going to be the devil and the powers of darkness. Glory to God. Yeah. <laughs> it would be fun cool. to watch him suffer a little. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, maybe we should call those. Maybe this is a, a infliction on the devil intercession, you know? There you go. So, yeah. James, what are some of the things that, 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 like, that the devil steals from people that they could take to court? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to give you as an example of my own life. Because some of you might know that I got struck by cancer, okay? Well, that cancer stole energy, it stole income, it stole health, and that whole realm. I had a dream uh, a year ago, and in this dream, the Holy Spirit literally spoke to me and he said, I want you to hold a courtroom hearing against three generational spirits. He said, the spirit of generational infirmity the spirit of generational witchcraft and the spirit of generational thievery. Isn't that All interesting? Right. 
And so I literally, I was actually in one of that radical Todd Bentley conferences, okay? And I was waiting for that moment when the collective atmosphere would be in faith and the people would be charged. We have all this on an outrageous, you know, CD message and all that. And then I took us all in worship and prayer and we marched before the God, the judge of all. And so I took advantage for my situation and then with that a collective atmosphere there wow. where anybody could bring their case of injustice before the throne. And then we called forth for the judgment to be released against generational infirmity, that's weakness or sickness. And let's stop there for a moment yeah. because a lot of Christians don't even know that that's an injustice. Yes, as, it is. As born again Christians, we've been delivered from the curse of the law, that's from the right. curse of sin, the, even the consequence of sin. The blood of yep. Jesus is so amazing. So, on the basis of that blood, we can go into a courtroom of yeah, divine right. justice and say, the devil cannot afflict me in this way right. because of the blood. And so I. I totally not only ask for freedom right. from sickness, but this repayment that you're talking about. The repayment. And so for me, it's repayment of energy, repayment of finances, repayment of health. You know, I could add five other things to it. Now, you guys out there listening right now, we just are mentioning generational infirmity. That's a spirit of, of weakness mm -hmm. that the devil tries to put upon people, you know? Here's the deal. The devil don't play Fair. <laughs> the only time he plays fair is when we enforce the rules on him, mm -hmm. and then he has to. Yeah, he and has then he to does. obey. Because we have authority to enforce That's the law right. in Christ. That's right. But we don't use that authority. It's like a policeman being able to execute a mm -hmm. bit of law enforcement, but it doesn't use his authority. Yeah, so it's enforcing the victory of Calvary mm -hmm. or everything that Jesus accomplished yeah. on the cross. You know, one of the things I really love about this form of prayer is that it's so Jesus centered. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about the work of the cross and the resurrection and everything he's done for us. And so the dream I just shared, it might relate to you right now. Mm -hmm. You might have had some generational weaknesses, sicknesses, infirmities. There might be some generational witchcraft. So you can take that for a region. Hey. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah. How about for regions that have gotten a cult spirit in it? And let's, let's pray the prayers of cleansing, mm -hmm. but let's go further and let's call forth for the prophetic destiny. And then let's call forth all of that of which the moves of God that they could have had in that region. And let's call forth retribution so that they'll get double of what was originally oh, intended. I love that. Let's go for it. You know, one of the things, I mean, when you're living in life, you know, you're going to yeah. deal with a few things, yeah, right? It's just do. everybody does. Yeah. We can't have a pity party or anything. Yeah. Um, Jesus said, you know, one of the promises we have as believers is that when we're inside of this world type system uh -huh. that we live in, we're not of the world, but we're, you know, living inside of the, the um, everyday life of it. He says, you'll have tribulation, but be of good yeah. cheer. I've overcome the world. That's right. And so we're going to get trials and testings, but yeah. we always say on our team, the devil will be sorry he ever tried. That's and that's what absolute. you're talking about. That's, that's right. judicial intercession. Yes, the devil is. will be sorry he ever tried because he's not going to only have to give back what he took, but this sevenfold or even at least yeah. double. That's right. At least double. You know, exactly that statement. One of our dear friends is on our board of directors, and I call her the grandma of the prayer shield. Her name is Beth Alvis, and she lives in Texas. And she told She's us... She's an amazing woman of God. She really <laughs> is. And she told us, it says, the devil's going to hate the day that he touched you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's judicial true. intercession's about. That's true. And you know, a lot of you that are watching, you just need to rise up. There's a, uh, there's, yeah. there's a woman watching the program right now. You've had a hard go of it this last little while. Well, be of good cheer. Just rise up and say, yeah. devil you'll be sorry you ever tried That's you know right. because we're gonna take this issue to court and just in a mm -hmm. few moments we'll we'll teach you all the practicalities we're actually gonna do it uh, we're gonna take the devil to court and uh, he's gonna have to repay everything That's that right. he took and we're gonna claim this sevenfold return so all of you that are watching just get excited and uh, right after the announcement uh, we'll be right back and uh, we're gonna just do the stuff well, here we are, and on God Talk, we're going to continue to share a little bit about judicial intercession. But what I'm excited about is we're going to do it. Yeah. And we've got James Gall <laughs> with us, who's into intercession. Hey, I love this, because you know what God does? He sits in heavens and he laughs. Yeah. You know? So, you know, let's just come up a little higher, and let's get God's perspective on the matter. And we're just going to laugh over the injustices, and that's just going to be the way that the devil 
devil's just going to hate it and he's going to back off. I want to give you a definition before we get into do this little prayer set on what the word plead means because we looked at Isaiah 43, 26 where it says, put me in remembrance and let us mm -hmm. plead together. The word plead in Webster's Dictionary means to argue a case in a court and law, to entreat or to appeal earnestly. And then in the Hebrew language that the Old Testament is written in, it means to judge, pronounce sentence, vindicate, punish, oh, or wow. to litigate. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Awesome. I love this. Yes. Well, a lot of times when I do this kind of prayer, yep. um, I first of all get a piece of paper uh -huh. out and a pen and I, right. I, I try to define exactly what I'm going to court with because are going to go to court with yeah. because if you go to court you have to have your charges clear right it's true so that might be a good idea for yeah. you all to just think about you know like what is it that you can take before the supreme judge of yes. all the universe you know an area of violation where the yeah, enemy right. has violated your rights as a covenant believer because god wants you completely whole and sound in all things you know he just loves you he wants to give you blessing uh he's a god of more than enough in the area of provision health strength right. friendships anointing right. dreams fulfilled all of those things so wow. ask the holy spirit to show you what your case is and wow. write it out clearly define it I think it's really important to have this clearly yeah. defined you know I want to pray into an area right now where people have had their they feel like their dreams have been stolen from them and I mentioned earlier about a spirit of thievery mm -hmm. and the thief comes to kill to steal and to destroy and so that could literally be the spirit of revelation and the enemy has entered in and has tried to rob that away from you or it could be then using the word dreams in a more broader generic way yep. about destiny yep. and hope and your and your future so right now we bring before the yep. father walking arm in arm with the mm -hmm. man Christ Jesus and we now walk up and we give an approach with boldness rising up with every step we take mm -hmm. faith is rising up within us the Word of God is stored up in our heart the blood of Jesus is upon our our, our minds and our hearts and our hands and our feet and we forgive yes. all those who sinned against mm -hmm. us and we release them with mercy and we forgive but right now I just bring before mm -hmm. you this case of dreams being robbed yes father we do destiny being taken away hope being uh, just uh, just 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 taken away a thief came and so right now I bring before you this case of dreams being robbed and I make a holy appeal we forgive all those who, who who misunderstood and we forgive all of those who slandered against us but right now we bring an appeal and we just mm -hmm. say when that thief is identified and when that thief is caught and I call you a dream robber right now yeah, and we just call forth the father release mm -hmm. your judgment now yes, be Lord. like a cowboy and release your mm -hmm. lasso right now to tie up to yeah. bind up right now I just see that thief that deemed mm -hmm. dream robber and the father has just mm -hmm. released like a lasso in the Holy Spirit and has just mm -hmm. tied this thing up yeah. right now it's bound in other words that's the biblical language it's just it's tied up mm -hmm. it's inoperative and that thing is sort of like squealing right mm -hmm. now because <laughs> it just don't like this but Whoa. this is awesome and the angels are actually rejoicing and that thief mm -hmm. of the dream robber spirit of thievery is caught right now and so right now I speak forth the opposite spirit yeah. and I'm just in alignment with the judge and I just see a, a, a favor 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 being granted wow. favor is being granted and I just speak to you that there is a multiplication yes. of the spirit of revelation it's coming upon you right now there is going to be dreams multiplied to you in the night season some of you are going to go mm. to sleep tonight you're going to have two dreams some of you are going to wow. have three but you're going to have an awakening an awakening and, and it'll be the very opposite and see and even that of which got taken away is going to be multiplied to you now in Jesus wow. name you know, um, I got a specific word of knowledge awesome. for someone as you were praying, yeah. and I know that that prayer touched many lives. Like many of you are going to get breakthroughs within the next little while because it shifts something in yeah, the spirit. That's right. But one of you um, is a gentleman who's watching the program, and you had applied for a job promotion. Yeah. There was um, a job vacancy in a higher level than what you were operating in that came came available, and um, so you applied for it. And really, you should have gotten it because you had. Um, 
um, the education for it, you have the skill for it, you have the time with the company, but something happened and there was some kind of a deceptive interaction that happened with another person and your boss and it flipped over and they got the position instead of you. In fact, you were almost like, it was almost like a demotion rather than a promotion. And you, you were just totally broken hearted by that. Something happened, hope deferred makes the heart sick and something happened to you at that time that just kind of caved in your faith because you, you went with confidence. Today, as that prayer was being made, as we took this whole thing about, about stolen dreams, before the Father, the Father of justice, the yes. God of all justice, the, the supreme judge of the universe. Right. As we took that before him, I felt the Holy Spirit tell me that you are going to come into a really massive breakthrough and that that position that you were believing for um, is going to look like a small dream in comparison to the dream that yes. will be fulfilled for you in Jesus.